Ik had bij een bokken gehad. Er was zo oer die twee, driehonderd bokken geweest. Toen is zo droogte gekomen. Toen de dertig uur. Toen kom hier het woord. Toen bleef net tien uur. Het is niet makkelijk om het te zeggen, maar je moet moos. Je moet moos. Daar is je voor Annie. Laat jij. Je moet zeggen in jouw leven, je moet zeggen in je leven. Dat is een makkelijke story. Dat wil ik gaan doen. The Voices of the Drylands project really started in 2004-2005. We, uh, the documentary video section of the School of Communication Studies at Northwest University, were approached by our botany department to do a documentary on their work on desertification in certain arid regions in South Africa. The focus was how ordinary livestock farmers approach the problem of desertification, the encroaching desert. How do they manage their livestock? How do they counter fell degradation? And how do they find alternative livelihoods? The whole project was a brainchild of the United Nations and more specifically its Desert Margins program. Now this program to counter desertification in various parts of the world was also sponsored by the Global Environmental Fund. The voices of the Drylands project had two legs. The first one a documentary video produced by Liesl Donner von Skalkweg and secondly, a photographic one produced by me. So, while the students were filming the characters and the areas, I started to take photographs. And then I soon realized that I was busy with something special. I experienced to a certain extent a catch-22 situation in the communal areas. On the one hand, you have the social grants, the pensions, and contributions from family members working in the towns and cities. And all these benefits ensure a better life. But in a wage economy, something will suffer. Why bother to make ash bread in a cooking shelter if you can buy a loaf of bread in a shop? Or why live the hardships of a stock post life while you can buy meat at a butchery. So in a wage economy, traditional lifestyles will suffer. 
What is the future of the Voices of the Drylands project? I will still be going back to film these traditional lifestyles, but I'm quite sure that in the near future you will only see these cultural forms in open-air museums, exhibitions and cultural festivals.